So today, when I got home from school, my mom, well, at least I, I saw that there was this box with Legos on it. it. Turns out the neighbors across the street had a box of just Legos in it. And they were just, they were just gonna put it out there uh, for anyone to take. And my mom, knowing that I'm a Lego collector, grabbed it and it was just full of tons of pieces. And that is the Lego haul, ladies and gentlemen. And I gotta say, just for free, there's a lot of rare stuff in here. There are a lot of bits and pieces, but the bit, the major thing I got done is that they had this, uh, I, it wasn't built like this. I had to build it. Uh, gotta go on lego.com and find the instructions. But I had to rebuild uh, th this prison um, from 2014. It is pretty rare nowadays, so that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, everything was basic. Other than this part, I had to repair some of the pieces were missing, but all of this, everything was there. They didn't have the vehicles or most of the minifigures, but the set mostly was 90% done. Another thing was this Ninjago's Cole's car, and they also had this bike. Speaking of Ninjago, this is what I got in the Ninjago section. I got all four of the original pair, or some of the older ones. They're not all the kind of the same variant, but yeah, they're all there. And also, I have uh, some, like, baddies or whatever. Got one of the armies. Got one of the snake guys. Um, this person, I know the face isn't it, but the bottom is definitely a snake piece. I just added Chima in there because it was the only minifigure I got from Chima. And they're kind of similar, so I kind of just put it in here. But one super rare thing I had was all this Lone Ranger stuff. Yeah, I had this train set. Everything, every single cart is here except the front, which is kind of disappointing. But, uh, also the thing is gone. But I have, like, tons of minifigures from that. So I had every single minifigure from the train set. Three out of the five from the city set and none of the city. And about, I think I had every single figure from the carriage set, but not the carriage. I had the horse, but, yeah. But, yeah, these sets go for super rare and the minifigures are pretty rare. So, uh, that was kind of cool. I love the Run Ranger movie. Um, a lot of people don't like it, but I liked it. Uh, so, yeah. But now I have three Lone Rangers in my collection. This one doesn't have a hat. The other two do, but... And also I have the John Depp's character, but... I really like this minifigure. That one. This one. I liked this one. This one was really good. The face would go perfect for Jack Torrance, so that's perfect. And I really love this minifigure. So much detailing. Also, we got this little Mixels guy. Remember Mixels? Yeah, he was just kind of just chilling in there. But here, we got the DC section. This is from that one Scarecrow Farmer set. And we also have the Batcopter set with Batwing. See, I had that set. But that was like in when it first came out in like 2014. So it was a while ago. And these are like are brand new. So I, I already have part if you've seen my you know batman and robin see the torso but it's kind of cool just to have a i lost the face so it's perfect kind of just replace that you know um also man bat a lot of these are really good condition like brand new like barely any scratches like seriously like look at all these minifigures like they're barely other than the ninjago ones which i'm assuming are the oldest um these are like seem like brand new like barely been touched we also have a bit of the tank thing and we have the lighter the tractor's fully built though so that was kind of cool also, these min I know this is skeleton. Please tell me uh, what this minifigure is from. I have no idea. Kind of looks like a Lord of the Rings kind of guy, but I can't really tell. Here we got some, you know, Lego city stuff. I have this keychain, uh, Discovery Center. I have one of these, but this one's kind of different. Over here by the Star Wars section, we have a lot of cool stuff. So we have bits and pieces like Force Awakens, we got like clone stuff, you know. Of one of these things. But we're going to focus on the minifigures mostly. Uh, we have a lot of these like fly guys from like the clone. Uh, episode 2, you know. Um, those were really annoying into battle. Uh, I have a lot of clones. I have one, two, three, four clones. Uh, I have two uh, rebels. This face is from Indiana Jones, I'm pretty sure. We have uh, one of these. I forgot what they're called. But, you know. We have a R2 unit. So we got the, the dark red one. Um, but these ones I'm most excited about. Uh, so we have original, not the new, the newest Yoda. The, yeah, the new one, the modern one. 
We also have the Clone Wars one, which was kind of cool. I don't have any Yodas, so it's kind of cool that I got the older one and the modern one. So I have, like, every single one except for the original. And then I have uh, this Clone Wars minifigure, which I'm pretty sure is kind of rare. Um, I don't remember. I'm going to have to search it up. I, I, I think it's the modern one, but um, maybe. But the major thing of the Star Wars collection, they had Jabba the Hutt in here, bro. And this minifigure goes for, like, so much. Like, over $50 just to get one. And it was all here. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, it's from that one, you know, the Jabba, Jabba's Palace. And that set's super rare. Uh, imagine if the Rancor was in here. Uh, it wasn't, but it was cool to have Jabba the Hutt here. And we have all these droids, you know, that I don't really much talk about. But we also have a couple of Ninja Turtle stuff, which was kind of cool. Um, we have uh, Raphael and, uh, you know, Shadow Guy. I was never really a fan of TMNT, but I kind of just... I watched it every once in a while, but I wasn't really a huge fan. But these are kind of cool. I, I kind of like this minifigure. And we got some of the boats, and I don't know what this is, but I think it goes with that section. But over here, we have a lot of the Lord of the Rings stuff. But the one I want to focus is this minifigure. This one's super duper rare. Um, and also I have two Gandalfs, which aren't that much to talk about. But yeah, a lot of these are really, really rare. I don't have any Lord of the Rings stuff. I'm a huge fan of it. I've watched the original trilogy. I haven't watched The Hobbit, but uh, I'm, I have no idea what these are from. We have two of these. They're kind of like scorpion spiders. Kind of seemed like they would go to Lord of the Rings, but also could have maybe been in like... The Lone Ranger or Ninjago or something or Star Wars. I have no idea, but it kind of just seemed fitting to be in here. Because there's that giant spider, you know. So I was just assuming they're probably in there. We also have a couple, uh, you know, uh, Lego Movie characters. Nothing really too much to talk about really there. But I've saved me the most rare and best for last. So I have the Deadpool minifigure, right? Uh, I have the original Deadpool from that one set. But I have the Wolverine, and also I have Magneto. This one goes for so much, almost as much as the uh, uh, Deadpool minifigure. And it's all here, brand new condition, pitch perfect condition. And this one has everything but the helmet. I'm going to order the helmet off Bricklink, because I really need that helmet. Um, but yeah, I was so, so, so happy when I first saw this. Because I love this version of the Wolverine. And I have the new one too. So yeah, it was really cool. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for the haul. I was just so excited and all this stuff I got. You know, it's just kind of crazy. Especially with the, you know, the Wolverine and Jabba the Hutt and, you know, Yoda or whatever. And the Lone Ranger stuff. It's just so much rare stuff I always wanted. And I got it for free. So definitely worth it. 100%. This is a very good haul. Probably the best haul. I've done two hauls. Uh, my cousin gave her her Legos one time, and then I got in this haul. But such a good haul. Anyways, see ya.